There was a police raid in Elyria, which is near Cleveland, Ohio. And the police were looking for a 14-year-old kid for weapons charges. Now, I'm going to give a little bit of background on this. The police went to this particular house, which ended up being the wrong house, several times looking for this 14-year-old. The 14-year-old had moved away. The current residents of this house didn't know the guy, so they could not provide information on where he was. But unfortunately, the police kept going back to this house. Guy didn't live there. And it got so bad to the point where they raided this house, where a single mother lives and a toddler lives, and got to a point where they threw a flashbang through a window into the baby's room. The family inside that home is furious, accusing police of raiding the wrong home. As Kelly Kennedy investigates, she explains they're blaming the department's recklessness for putting their newborn in the hospital. The Jennings family's ring camera captured the horrifying moments that the Elyria Police Special Response Team broke down their front door in the middle of the day on Wednesday. 25-year-old Courtney Price was staying at her aunt and uncle's home on Parmalee Avenue in Elyria with her one-year-old son, Waylon May. She and Waylon were the only ones home when she heard a loud bang. All I seen was lots flashing and smoke coming into the house. Police also busted out two windows in the home, including this one right behind me. Take a look. You can see it's half boarded up right now. And Price tells me her very sick baby was sitting right below that window in his swing here. So can we just quickly count how many guys they have for one 14-year-old kid on weapons charges? One, is this a good use of tax money? We'll get into that. But so about 20 guys in full tactical gear for one kid. None of this makes sense to me especially the fact that they went to the house beforehand, asked where he was. They said, we don't know him. He doesn't live here. Now, I'm not going to name the suspect because I'm told he's only 14 years old. But according to these documents, police were looking for firearms involved in a burglary. Now, the Jennings family tells me police have come to the home looking for this teenager before, and they said he has not lived there in over a year. In fact, they tell me his family now lives in a different home on the same street. The fact that there are so many different delivery services out there who can get your address right, pizza, all the food delivery services, Amazon, UPS, FedEx. I'm having a hard time believing that a government agency, one, can't find the new address of the guy. We've talked about it before on the channel, but everybody's information is leaked on the internet unless you've had it removed. But law enforcement can dig 15 layers deeper than that and find out where you are. So the fact that they did this with a questionable, oh, well, we've been told that he doesn't live here and we came here several times. If I can just give these departments a piece of advice, if the people are home and they're willing to cooperate, you don't have to do this. You've got 20 guys and you feel like you have to breach a door where a single mom lives and a baby and you know they're home. How about quick knock on the door? Police come out, get one of those megaphones. You know, path of least resistance. Also, it's gonna be a lot safer for you, right? Because a lot of people are nuts nowadays and they may think that you're a robber. Big thank you to American Hartford Gold for sponsoring today's video. I had a conversation recently with the president of American Hartford Gold about the current situation of America. And one of the points that I brought up is the amount of cybersecurity issues that this country is having. In fact, the FBI warned about it. PRC hackers are targeting our critical infrastructure. The warning from the FBI about China's cyber attacks against the U.S. and how it can yeah. completely destroy the infrastructure. And I think it's a really good point to mention about people who are, you know, firmly in the stock market or firmly into crypto and, and don't have a lot or aren't diversified into precious metals. And I think you just said it. Several scenarios over the past couple of years where, you know, with FTX, finance, that's just on the crypto side. When you're going to need your gold, it's typically going to be during one of those black swan events, right. <laughs> you know, and, and when you're trying to pull your money out and you need it in a hurry, that's when it's going to be an issue to get it out. Banks don't keep a ton of money anymore. So if something happens in America and there are a thousand people lined up in front of a bank to pull their cash out, sorry, 
we don't have it. So I asked American Heart for Gold to give y'all an awesome deal. With your first purchase, they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver. All you have to do is call 844-940-0662 or text HEAVY to 65532. You'll talk to one of their advisors, great people over there. They'll get you set up, whether it's you're turning a 401k, an IRA, or just cash into precious metals to hedge against inflation and basically have an insurance policy against what's going on in America. So they breach the door and they throw a flashbang through the window into the baby's room. Baby's covered in glass. Look, you can see it's half boarded up right now. And Price tells me her very sick baby was sitting right below that window in his swing here. And after this happened, her son was covered in glass. I didn't know what to do because there was guns pointed at me. I wanted to run to him, but I knew if I ran to him, I would, they could have shot. Anyways, once they go through this whole commotion, uh, they go in and they cuff the single mother, pull her outside while the baby is still in the room covered in glass. Now the house put me in handcuffs. I kept screaming, my baby, my baby, he's on a ventilator, my baby's in here. Price tells me police threw a flashbang through the window her son was sitting below. And then this is the stupidest part, all right? So they said that these flashbangs were just for noise. Watch this guy throw it outside. In a statement, police told us they did use flashbangs but said they were only deployed outside the house. 19 News obtained this ring camera video from a neighbor, showing police throw a device that exploded at the home. Police said flashbangs don't produce a continuous burn and don't contain chemical agents. What is this, a training exercise? You're throwing a flashbang outside, like down an alleyway of a house. What is that gonna do? Rita Jennings and her husband have been renting the home for the past year. She says police knew that the person they were looking for did not live there. But Elyria police maintain the address on the search warrant was correct. All of our furniture is broke. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous. You go to the house, he doesn't live there, you know this, but you still do this whole raid, put a baby's life in danger, destroy the house, don't take accountability for it. I mean, this is gonna be a massive lawsuit. So obviously a pretty big screw up, but I think the point is, is just because you have the resources to do this kind of thing as a police department or SWAT team or whatever, doesn't mean you should. Take the path of least resistance, because at the end of the day, you're gonna end up costing taxpayers even more money when your department has to pay this family for fucking this up. It's a shame. Thank you.